Dear sisters and brothers, we have come to a point in our history that so much talking has to end and doing has to take its place. If we do not begin to internalize and activate the principles of our faith, then we are like, excuse the expression, a jackass carrying books. And we cannot be of that character and expect that God will take us any further than, I won't repeat it, <laughs> carrying books. What is a book? You are a book. I am a book. We are a book. We are a reading and a testimony of the reality of God in self. So as we search to find ourselves, we're going to end up discovering Almighty God, Allah Himself. Once you come to recognize and accept who you and I really are, we will be able to light up a torchlight for not only America, but for the entire world to show and demonstrate the principles of righteousness. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught us that one day we would be attacked, that the enemy being so angry and hateful to see righteousness, that he will attack us on the basis of righteousness. Not that we have done anything wrong or evil, but they're going to try to manufacture through laws to prevent us from spreading the righteous example of a true Muslim. And this message is for the Muslims of the entire Islamic world. We have held in the last four days, ending today, what I consider to be a hallmark turning point in the nation's history, where we have been able to gather such powerful young people, young adults, writers, authors, hip hop artists. You can just run the gamut. We have the potential with this conference to be able to spread a new educational teaching throughout our entire community. We can no longer just come and hear a lecture and say, wow, that was a great point. Oh, wow, that was very inspirational. What are you going to do when you go out the door today? Will you just wait for the sun to set and then break fast during this great Ramadan and have no active mental processing going on in your mind to change the way that we've been living or dying and come back to life again, the life-giving teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad was to stand us up before the world and to say the most beautiful nation is in the wilderness of North America. And you see all over the world now, you have many enemies to righteousness, to the proper view of God. They are among Muslims and they are among non-Muslims. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, don't trust anybody. And I think that's a good lesson for us all. Don't trust anybody. Why? Do you trust yourself? That you are doing the right thing? Do you trust your mouth? That you don't put a harness on it? A bridle? And stop the vicious use of your mouth? To demonstrate non-Islam but call yourself a Muslim.
We don't have time for rosy speeches anymore. We don't have time for anything but to put a check on ourselves as Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan is guiding us and put us back in what we would call a straitjacket of reform that we all must come under the obedience, the laws, and the restrictive rules and regulations that was given to us in the beginning from Master Farrakhan Muhammad and the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. That is much easier to follow than to be a reject of God outside of the harmony of beauty and truth. Because when we are protected, then Allah will take over our minds, our thinking, our walking, our actions, our thoughts. I want to say to all of you beautiful brothers and sisters here in Mosque Maryam, we must learn to be more quiet. This has been the theme of my sharing during the last few days. Because only in silence and contemplation of God's presence, where? Inside of each and every one of us is the only way that we will overcome the wickedness, the noisiness, the criminality, and the horror that our young people and adults are living in today. We must lower our voices. We must become kinder. We must see each other as true brothers and sisters in the universal brotherhood of Islam, not just in America. We must be that example. I close with a reading from a very, very beautiful text that was translated out of a speech given by the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan in 1984 in the city of Detroit. And if you don't have a copy of this book, you need to get it. Education is the key. He's speaking here directly to the women. And it is entitled, Teach a Woman, Teach a Nation. It says, you must realize that mothers are important. You must realize that women are important. An ignorant woman is a sin. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught us that when you teach a man, you teach a what? An individual. But when you teach a woman, you what? Teach a nation. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught us that the nation can do what? Rise. No higher than its woman. When you put a woman down, listen now, and women put us down too. <laughs> when you put a woman down, you send the nation to hell. To lift women does not mean putting them on a false pedestal and worshiping them as symbols of comfort, beauty, and sex. Lifting a woman means placing in her hands the books of wisdom and knowledge so she might be cultivated and her qualities develop that she may inspire a new world from what is in her head and heart. Do we understand what a woman is? Do we understand that she is the co-creator with Almighty God Allah, co-producer? If that was in the beginning, so shall it be at the end.